The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about that man, Screwy G from Indiana, man. Just went off on Ruger, man. Leaked text messages, all types of stuff. Let's jump straight into it. Um, I ain't going to say this make Ruger look bad because at the end of the day, he tried to do a business play, you know? And uh, at the end of the day... To make it in this world, not only in the music industry, you need connect connections. You can have the most money in the world, but if you ain't connected, it don't mean nothing. You can have connections and no money and still be plugged in as if you, as if, if you had money, you know? But um, Screwy G, you know, he already, you know, linked up with the other side, you know? So I highly doubt, you know, if, you know, if they was probably ever going to do a feature, you know, um, I, I never understood, you know, why this dude had to go at the GDs and ducking them when when I heard that he is a GD. You know, you got to think Indiana and Illinois is literally right next to each other. You know, even if he wanted to work with Q50 or whoever he wanted to work with, I feel like he could have did it without having to go at the GDs and ducking them, you know. Um, but at this point, man, I don't think he trying to do no music, man, with the GDs, man, and, uh, out of Chicago, you know, he didn't win that billionaire King Yella. Um, so at this point, man, I feel like Screwy G, man, he just, just threw himself in the mix of some extra beef that he really just didn't, didn't need, you know, I don't understand why these youngsters out here are getting the type of money that they getting. Why, why would you want beef and drama? That ain't going to do nothing but sh slow up shows and all of that. And now you just got extra, extra beef. So if you get a, a show that's booked in Illinois or close to, to Chicago or whatever, bro, you might just have extra attention that, bro, you don't even need, you know? But that's the situation that a lot of these rappers put themselves in by trying to pick sides. If you a real man, real man stand on his own, bro. You don't need to jump in no beef. Like, I, don't, I just don't get that. How you all the way in Indiana, but you beefing with dudes in Chicago. When you already got beef going on in Indiana, that's what you should probably put your energy towards. You know what I'm saying? But beefing with somebody out of town and all of that, I just felt like that 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 was just dumb. And then you just messed up the GD tie. Like, I just felt like that was just dumb to me, you know. But everybody make their own choice. You know, as a man, you know, whatever decision you make, just stand on it, you know. But me personally, I just don't see how streetwise and business-wise that that was a good decision, man. To go at the GDs in Chicago when you a GD yourself and that could have just boosted your career up even more. Even if you wanted to work with Q50 and them, you could work with both sides, bro. Be a, be a man, stand on your own, you know. But um, it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But your boy Screwy G, man, just went on a rant, man. And he went off on uh, Ruger, uh, Duck Peoples, man. You know, he had leaked text messages, all that. And he pretty much exposed him, asking him for, uh, for a feature. You know, but once again, I don't think that this make Ruger look bad because at the end of the day, it's business. You know, in the music industry, you got to do songs with other artists. You know, he thought that he could probably tap in with Screwy G and get a feature. You know, I don't think that if he knew that he would try to expose him and things would have went left, he probably wouldn't have reached out. But, you know, that's the cost of doing business. Sometimes it go through and sometimes it don't. But I don't think that this make Ruger look weak, you know. But like I say, man, it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids that they never too late. We tore these communities down. Let's build them back up, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in with your boy. Man, love y'all.
the D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>